and uh, acquired that uh, sexually um, are uh, uh, statistically have a longer period before they develop the full-blown AIDS. So the whole issue of things that support us from other diseases, good health, good support, good emotional uh, uh, life, all those things help prevent the onset of the uh, infection, stress, poor nutrition, other challenges will make it come on earlier. I think before we lose the whole crowd of classes and so forth, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank our panel today, Dr. Patterson, Toby Richard, and Karen Phillips. And we'd like to tell you about the cool event coming tomorrow and Saturday, on the Saturday. These are a few sections that will um, be displayed. And we will open up for a couple more questions before the AIDS coalition here in Story County is, is running quite strong now. Uh, a lot of it has to do with bringing the quilt here. We've We've seen uh, more people become involved with the coalition. We've seen more people interested in signing up for buddy work and for anything to help out with the coalition. Of course, as always, bottom line is funding. Uh, we got slashed along with everybody else this fall, and we desperately need more funds. Some of the funds left over from the quilt will go to casework, but we need many, many, many more funds. The systems that I was telling you before that don't work with homeless people, uh, this is where the coalition funds come in. And they can, all of our funds can be drained easily by one person with AIDS. So we, we continue to, to fundraise and get funding. But we also need the people. We need more buddies and we need more people to, um, to come down to the Red Cross and, and volunteer their time to the coalition, whether it's stuffing envelopes or anything like that, or just getting the word out that, uh, that we're a supportive community when it comes to AIDS. We really are. It's, it's getting better and better. That the question is, is anything being done to uh, implement required courses? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, has it worked yet? No. Um, but uh, I'm very interested in seeing the opportunity made available for people to be able to learn more about sexuality and uh, risk taking in general. And, uh, there are a number of people who have met this fall and are trying to develop some curricular approach to that. Those things take time. Uh, they take support both from faculty, staff, and students. Um, so we'll keep working at it. I would like this uh, take a chance to particularly thank Toby for the uh, tremendous work he has done in this community and the time he's been here. I, uh, I've been involved, as I say, with the issue of HIV infection and AIDS for some time. And, Many of the places I go, people say, oh, do you know Toby? Well, this is the first time I've met Toby, but uh, I've heard of his being here because he's just been tremendously effective spokesperson for our concerns. And uh, I want to thank him for spending his time today and uh, sharing with us uh, who he is now. I think that Toby's family has been extremely courageous in supporting him 150 thousand percent because as Toby uh, alluded to earlier that if Toby has AIDS his whole family his whole support system has AIDS right along with him they've been extremely courageous also I'd like to remind you or suggest to you that you watch what you're doing that uh, just out of your safety sake yes but also in dealing with other people you never know who might have AIDS or is coming down with it. <coughs> and something that helps me and helps everybody that's a, that has AIDS is a support system. It's someone that they know, well, things are rough, but uh, this is okay. This guy likes me. I can get along now. 
we need to support each other as human beings. Uh, it is so desolate out there with AIDS, having a, a, a disease that can kill people. And nobody really, there's still a question about how you're getting it and all this, all, all this other kind of stuff and how you can prevent it from, from getting it yourself. Uh, uh, think a little bit of the other person that you're dealing with and uh, what may be going through their minds. With the support that they need from AIMS, the community. It doesn't necessarily have to be just from you, but uh, maybe a little bit of help. Maybe you were at a bake sale for an hour uh, that you wouldn't have been. Uh, little helpful things like that are going to make the difference when this thing uh, finally ends, and it will. AIDS will prob finally be wiped out of the picture. It may be a couple of years, but uh, it'll finally be a past event. Uh, and all of you here need to work on it. Uh, like when we did within Stitches, and I encourage you to come and see the show Friday and Saturday. Uh, it, it's the dealing with people together and helping work and, and getting a project and, and making it come true. Uh, and the same kind of thing with you guys. Uh, it, all you need to do is just kind of react and be a friend. Uh, shake somebody's hand. That can be all that it takes. There's a lot of uh, emphasis on the uh, uh, physical ailment of AIDS, but not on the social stigma that you may have when you have AIDS. And it really is important to have someone that can just come up by your side and say, you're doing okay, you're, you're fine, uh, just keep on trucking. That's what we need nowadays. Yeah, one last... <laughs> Um, I think uh, Dr. Shavel's uh, remembering Richard Keeling and his visit here, who uh, made an observation that is totally true, um, that uh, most sexual risk-taking is done under uh, the influence of alcohol. In fact, he put it this way, that under the influence of alcohol, we often find ourselves having sex with someone who, when sober, we wouldn't have lunch with. And, uh, I think uh, it is those situations that put people at greatest risk for uh, acquiring this disease and, frankly, many others. So, so alcohol is a, an extremely important part of our social structure that needs to be approached warily. I think that's all the time we have for questions.